everyone. Welcome to another What the Wednesday. My name is Kate McCarthy and I'm a Livestock Officer with the North West Local Land Services and today's What the Wednesday is around weaning nutrition in the sheep industry um, and some factors con to consider there. So weaning is a really important period for the sheep industry because firstly um, you the weaners are going to be going through a fair amount of stress during the process and also we're trying to meet the energy and um, protein requirements of an animal that's growing and developing so what some factors that sh you know you should be thinking about in order to achieve that um, so matching weaning time to peak pasture production is a really um, important thing and when I say peak pa pasture production you're looking to match when you're going to wean to enable those animals to graze highly productive pastures. So um, in our region at the moment, you've got your summer dominant uh, grasses, like your tropical grasses, as well as your lucens. Uh, and so with that, you're trying to ensure that animal can access highly um, palatable, really digestible, um, good energy and protein levels so that they can really drive growth and development. Um, so firstly, choosing when you are going to wean and matching that to your pasture production is a, in years like this, um, obviously the years that have been prior has been a different story, but in years like this, typically matching it to when, you know, those, those pastures are gonna be highly productive is a really important thing. The second thing that's quite important is um, is knowing when to achieve, like knowing what your target weaning weight is. So weaning at that 12 weeks of age, um, the lambs have sort of, at 12 weeks of age, then they're, they're not as reliant on mum. They're probably grazing more pastures than they are taking um, nutrients from the ewe. So they're quite able to um, be able to achieve these uh, so achieve it will access nutrients off pastures um, and feed base so um, now it's about knowing how what is your target weaning weight um, aside from looking at that you know 12 weeks sort of 12 to 14 week um, window so target weaning weight is based on your standard reference weight of your flock um, and the standard reference weight is the live weight of a fully grown bare shorn non-pregnant um, animal in condition score three with no gut feel so um, but we're looking to get 45 percent of that standard reference weight as a target weaning weight um, and I suppose that that's something that is achieved at that with when the lamb's on the ewe um, so because she's providing that nutrition right up until weaning so she's giving that animal access to um, the energy and protein requirements which is you know enabling them to grow up until that 23 25 kilo mark um, so managing your ewe is actually really important and managing those lighter lambs um, well yeah ma managing lighter lambs on on the users is another important factor so Achieving that target wing weight comes back to how you manage your ewes during lactation and how how much they've had access to the energy and protein requirements they need. Um, and one thing is is that weaning weight, if you're if you're you know at that 45% weaning weight, it's actually it, it help you know it's correlated back to higher um, higher survival rates. So it's driving a, a higher production higher production within your flock. So that's something else to really. Um, you know, push these weaning weights and, and emphasise the importance of them. Um, and I suppose the other thing that comes into factor is um, genetics. Um, but yeah, nutrition is one of those things during that you with the when the lambs on the you to drive um, the weaning weights, your target weaning weight. Um, I suppose post weaning, then what are some things to think about? Well, these animals really important um, protein and energy as I've said before your energy is crucial for weaners because pro, uh, sorry protein is crucial for weaners because it's that building block for muscles muscle development wool growth etc um, and also functionality of microbes so that's really important but energy is really important too because it beyond maintenance it's it's going to drive the growth of muscle and fat and wool and, and such. So we want to be meeting those energy and protein needs post weaning. Um, and again, that's matching your pastures back to highly palatable, 
um, highly digestible uh, and keeping making sure they've got enough food on offer so looking at that in it for a green paddock looking at um, 1700 to 2100 kilograms of dry matter per hectare um, and I suppose when when you look at energy and protein make sure that you can match the energy in the feed is is around that 11 to 13 megajoules and proteins between well between 12 and up to 17 percent so a moral of the story is high protein high energy at this point in time will drive growth and we're looking for a growth rate of 50 grams at least per head per day for weaners so um, there's some things around weaning nutrition that's really hand handy to be aware of we actually have a we had a webinar on it yesterday um, so if you want to know more and listen to this a little bit in a little bit more of an elaborative um, context then please join in on and register to watch that webinar back um, but that's it for today um, and look forward to seeing you next time thank you